Hey, what is up, everybody? Blue Ghost here, and here we are back for some more Outlast. All right, so last time we left off, our camcorder fell down this hole, and obviously I don't have my camcorder with me because we need it to navigate through that dark and spooky area. So we're going to have to adventure down and uh, get our camcorder back. Like, seriously, it's our only source of light, and it's like we're so freaking helpless without our camcorder. We're so useless without technology. Oh, I have to jump over that. Sometimes you can't jump over these beds sometimes. Oh, wait, never mind, you can because I never tried doing that. Okay, then. Oh, footsteps. Did my camcorder found down here? Oh, you know what that was? That was probably footsteps of somebody running away with my camcorder. So somebody has uh, possibly stolen it. Oh yeah, possibly. So. Yeah, I'm probably guessing that someone stole it. All right. Oh, oh. There might be the culprit there. Oh boy, here we go. What's gonna happen? No! That's gonna happen. Jeez. Is that it right there? Wait, what's this? Oh, that's just a water bottle. What the hell? Why is that glowing blue? What's up with that texture? That is not... That is weird. I literally thought that was my camera, but that's a glowing blue water bottle? What the hell? What type of water bottle glows blue? Oh my god, I'm so freaking scared to go into here. Well, here it is right there. I keep hearing footsteps to me and I don't like it. Okay, I got my camcorder. Oh, perfect. It's cracked and it's a bit broken. I love it. Oh, God. Can't go that way. Okay, we need to backtrack where we were going. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, not that way. Oh, obviously not this way, because it's a dead end. So I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Wow. All right, we're off to a great start so far, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, we are. Okay. So I'm gonna pick up my camcorder. We need to backtrack a little bit, but where do we go exactly? God, the one thing about this game that you need to get right is that you need to uh, uh, guess everything correctly on the uh, first try, or else you're dead. I could probably close that door to uh, help me out a little bit, too. Oh, maybe close these doors, too? Yeah, there we go. That should help, that should help slow him down a little bit. Okay, that door is blocked off. Now that's a dead end. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Wow, that didn't even seem very obvious. All right. So I think I figured that out correctly. All right. Well, that didn't really seem obvious that I had to jump on those lockers there. So, uh, yeah. Well, I was, I was able to find that out correctly. So thank God for that. And so we also duck under here. Here. Okay. So then we need to go back to where we came from. Pick up a battery. Now I actually learned that when you're playing on easy difficulty, you have the option to have 10 batteries. And because I'm playing on hard difficulty, you can have uh, 5 batteries. 
And also, when you play on easy, it takes three hits to take you down, but on hard, it takes you like, uh, uh, like two hits to take down. So I can only imagine that uh, the harder difficulties would probably just need only one hit to take you down. So now that we have our camcorder, we can continue on to look for Father Martin in this dock treacherous assignment. Aye! Whoa! Holy shuku. Okay. Jump over here. Can we jump over there? No, we cannot jump over the ouch. Okay. Oh, where were you supposed to go down there? I think so. Okay. Oh, that's blocked off. And that's also blocked off. Wait, hold on. I think I might have done goof here. Oh, we're supposed to go up here. Okay. Got it. Hi there. Are you a friend? Only one way out. Only one way. I will take that way. Only one way out. You know you're not patient. Because I wasn't brutally murdered by that freaking doctor dude. I know patience. I'm only a reporter that's just get, that's just coming in for his money. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem because the cam corner is a little bit broken on the screen, and especially when it comes to night vision, because I think it's gonna have those random uh, little things where the feedback is gonna get um, messed up. So, we're definitely going to be running into a little bit of issues here. That's a dead end. Gotta re- Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, Jesus. I am freaking screwed. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my- Dude, he's fast. What am I doing? What am I doing? I am so dead. I'm dead. Oh, he took my head off. God dang. Seriously, in those situations, what the hell do you do? I, I can't even think straight when I'm being chased down by a big ass person. Like, what am I supposed to do there? Okay, so. Okay, he did see us. Close the door. And then we're gonna run this way. And I think we can go into this door. Close it. And realize that we are also screwed in this room. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, hold on. Squeeze through here. Can't get me now, mother fricker. Yeah, that's right. Run back to where you came from, okay? Urgh. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait for him. Okay. Litter. Okay, so. I think the door that's slightly opened. I think that's the door that we need to go through. And also, what I did just realize is that you don't need to push X while you're running away from something to open a door. You can literally just sprint into a door and it will, like, slam it open. So, legit, I did not even know anything about that. Pretty much until today. So, I mean, like, you're sprinting and then, you know, you can freaking slam open a door. And I legit did not know anything about that. So, here he comes again. And I probably need to go into the door that's open. Oh, I went the wrong way again. God dang it. I suck at this game so freaking bad. I'm gonna juke around you on the couch. 
There we go. Oh, yes. I was supposed to go in here. God dang, I'm such an idiot. Okay. So, thank God I figured that out. God, the right option that you need to choose does not seem very obvious. And, oh my goodness gracious. I just need you to move, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, look. This looks like one of the places... Oh, was this where I was before, before I got thrown out the window? Oh, it looks like it. Yeah, there's the broken glass right there. Nice. So this must mean that we're probably close to ending our adventure, maybe. I don't know. Because I think our objective is to get the hell out of here. Because this reporter is pretty much done with everything that he's seen in this asylum, you know? Oh, really? I can't open that door? What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I see. Really? I have to do it this way. Hey! Yes, I'm supposed to tell you. The key to the house of God is in the theater. Behind the light. In the theater. Behind the light. You have to see the movie. So that's where I left the card. Okay? Friends. The key to the house of God. I like the sound of that. Let's do this. In the theater and we have to watch the movie. Wait, 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 no. We've already been to this place before, so we need to remember where it is. So, when we first started this game, we had to go down into the basement and uh, turn everything back on. So, uh, let's see. Library, uh, Chaparral Recreation Hall, library. That's a library. Hold on for a second. Recreation Hall. That's locked. Oh, I see. Okay. Still the same old objective. You just gotta follow the blood. Ah! God, this freaking thing scares the crap out of me sometimes. Is that the wall rider? Hello? I can hear someone. Hmm. Well, I might be slightly confused here. I don't even know where to go, actually. He said the theater. I obviously can't get in there. And I have to follow the blood. Wait, was that blood from my footsteps? Is that where the... Oh, yeah, that's where it came from. Yep. Well, I just freaking fooled myself. Oh, my God. So, I'm guessing in the basement. Wow, that's not even a... Ba oh, I see. No way of interacting with the... Uh the, um, the elevator at all. Well, I think I might be stumped here. I might just need a... Well, I'm obviously stumped here, so I definitely need to skip through until I figure this out myself. Oh my god, I'm so freaking... Okay, here we go. Well. Alright. Jeez, seriously. That almost seemed very obvious. Now I look like a stupid, dumb, dumb idiot. <laughs> um, can't jump up there. Uh, 
Okay, that's obviously a ledge that I need to go on. So, oh, there's a ladder. Okay. And then we need to go on to here. Jump down there. Perfect. Oh! You have lovely music. Oh god, you have a stitch out of mouth. <gasps> Creepy. I wonder why there's lockers here. How suspicious. Or obvious. Oh yeah, you're telling me you can't. I was a I was trying to jump over that, and you're telling me that you you're not able to jump over that. Like that's bullcrap. Go! Oh. Oh, oh, it's the movie. This is the theater. Here we go. So I need to watch the movie. Wait, maybe no record this too. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, a half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we feel. Oh god, camera, don't do that right now. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. The human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... The proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed that of horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. There's a no. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider. I think I'm doing a good job recording it here. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Okay, so I wrote down a note. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's animic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording an interview with his doctor, Rinical Los Alamos, mean, means government work. Wernick talks about a spontaneous bleeding, tumorous, psychomatic reactions in sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to... Walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough l horror was capable of activating the engine, the m the, morph the morphinic engine. The engine movie they're projecting it gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Rosart. I blink and see Rosarch tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery runes. The patient talks about using an engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Creepy as hell. The buzzing that I hear in my bones. Okay, so now we need a key. From the theater. Yeah, there's lockers that you can hide in here. How suspicious. Okay. You have to find her again. Only way. Okay. Duck under here. Hello. Back 
battery. Here we go. Perfect. Ow! Jesus. Oh, you ass. That's where I need to go. That's the key right there. You ass. Well, not like I can find an alternate route. Oh, just like that. Oh, you've given me a lead. Very nice. Love it. <clears throat> 21 minutes. We'll probably have to stop this one at like three more minutes or so. So we'll get the key. Actually, yeah, we'll get the key and th No, go that way, please. We'll get the key and then end it here. Because I think it would be a pretty good time to stop it right here. So now we have to find Father Martin on the third floor. Alrighty, everybody. So that concludes it for this episode today. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.